nation that rise up against my kindred. See, it said, woe unto the nation, death and destruction to the nation that rise up against his kindred, whether it be these heathens or even the truth of our own people. Go ahead. The Lord Almighty will take vengeance on, of them in the day of judgment. See, the Lord will take vengeance on them. V vengeance on who? All the nations that rise up against his elect are the nation of Israel, you Negro, Latino, and Native American. Go ahead. And putting fire and worm in their flesh, and they shall fill them and weep forever. See? Put fire and worms in their flesh. That's what? Death. Couple worms into your body, that means your body is decomposing in the ground. That's death. That's the grave. That represents what? Death and destruction. So all those that rise up against this elect, even his, the two thirds of children of Israel, the Lord is going to destroy this place, man. America has a lot to pray for, man. See what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say Babylon cannot be healed, man. See what I'm saying? This place has a lot to pray for, man. Matter of fact, uh, give me Exodus 21 and I think 15. Exodus chapter 21, verse 15. And he that smiteth his father or, or his mother shall be surely put to death. No, uh, what is it, 16? Um, a slave from that man. That's death the man's son. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Exodus 21 to 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Now, who stole the nation of people? Where are those people found still located to this day? And it's not when you have by shooting off shop, still gonna find these people in these certain people's hands? Who stole the people? These white people, these Edomites, stole the lives of Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, known as the children of Israel, and sold them. Sold them where? On the auctioning block. So when the Lord come and destroy this place, guess what? We still found in these people's hands. And the Lord is gonna what? Put them to death. That's called what? Payback. That's called what? Vengeance. Yes. Retribution. Satisfaction to your how about shooting out a shot. For what? Stealing and taking his people against their will, man, and selling them. Having our people march around with this dumb slogan talking about Black Lives Matter. Evidently not to these white people instead of gunning you down like dogs. See what I'm saying? How are you going to overcome your oppressor when you got your oppressor marching with you? That's not going to work. You got them 10 Black Lives Matter, but they not getting gunned down in the street. You people are ignorant of Satan's devices. Those are things that are set up by the government, man. If a person shot my brother, you think I'm going to be marching with that person's family to my peace on the street? Hell no. I'm going to choke the hell out of them, man. I for I, two for two, if you kill my brother, I'm going to kill you. It ain't going to be no we holding hands, marching together. My brother life matter. Peace, no more violence in the street. You people don't understand these are the curses of your hell about shooting out with shot. See what I'm saying? All y'all claim that y'all go to church, you got a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is my husband. All this old nonsense, but you don't know nothing about the Bible, man. See what I'm saying? The Lord has vengeance for a reason. The Lord does nothing without a reason or a just cause. The Lord is, is righteous in all his judgment, man. See what I'm saying? Let me get uh, Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn the Lord and put off from day to day. See? It says make no tarrying. 
Meaning, don't wait to the last minute to try and get yourself right with your how about shooting out the shot. You got, you think you got all the time in the world, but you don't. Go ahead. I'm putting not on from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. See, they said putting not off day to day, meaning, oh, I got time, I, I, I go listen to them brothers tomorrow. But then when tomorrow come, oh, I go listen to them the next time they out there. Then when that time comes, oh, I, I, I do it whenever I get a chance. It says, it may not from day to day. What else to say before somebody's about the wrath? It said, put off from day to day, because suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. See, it says, suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Shinyahu Shah come forth. Because remember, the Lord said he will come as a thief in the night. Go ahead, bro. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. See, in thy security. What it means by being secure? You're comfortable in this society, man. Thinking that just because you got a good job. See, he's security. He's driving a $200,000 car, a Ferrari. He thinks he's secure in this society. He thinks this place is going to last forever. See what I'm saying? Even he's secure in his team. He riding around with no shirt on. Looking like a, a, a pack of uncooked biscuits. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he's secure. <laughs> the, Lord, the Lord is going to destroy him, man. He got good. Man, you think about Chris, man, work, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, your face is like an ashy elbow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, but see, these people here, they're comfortable in this society, man. Go ahead, bro. See, they perish in the day of the avenger. See, perish mean what? To die. In the day of vengeance, man, the Lord's payback, his rep retribution, his satisfaction, man. See what I'm saying? Give me a uh, revelation. We already do 18 and 20. Well, give me 21 and 8. I think you already did 18. Chapter 18, verse 20. It says, Rejoice over her, now heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the power hath appeared you on her. See, the Lord is telling us to rejoice. Rejoice o over who? America, Babylon. It says, For the Lord hath avenged you on her. And the Lord is starting to avenge America on our behalf right now. That's why you start to see a lot of people die in numbers, in groups. Before it was one or two here or there, now it's groups. See what I'm saying? And the Lord is talking to us. He said, the holy apostles, starting off with our apostles, great millstone, and prophets. We're considered prophets. Because we're telling you what's going to happen before it happened, man. Go ahead, bro. Verse 21. 